Hey friends, welcome to CodeH. In this session, we will see how to set up AWS application load balancer for the EC2 instances. As you see in the diagram, we will first launch EC2 instances. We will also set up security group for our EC2 instances, which will allow HTTP traffic to the EC2 instances. Then we will include this EC2 instances into target group. After that, we will set up application load balancer. We will also set up security group for our application load balancer to accept HTTP traffic. After that, we will see how to set up rules for our application load balancer to route the traffic to the different destinations. As you see in the diagram, user will first call application load balancer URL. Then application load balancer will route the traffic based on the rules in the listener. And it, it will route the traffic to the particular target group. We will also install Apache HTTP server on our EC2 instance, and we will deploy one sample HTML into Apache HTTP server so that we can get some response from the EC2 instance. So let's see how to set up this into AWS console. Let's move into the demo. In the AWS console, let's search for the EC2. Let's go into the instances and launch the instance. Let's give it a name as first instance. And we will select AMI as a Amazon Linux. Instance type will be T2 micro, that is a free tier eligible. We don't require key pair, so we will not create a key pair here. And here we are going to set up security group for our EC2 instance. So what it says, allow SSH traffic from anywhere. And we will also check for allow HTTP traffic from the internet. Okay, so this is the security group for our EC2 instance. And let's go into the advanced details. And here you will find option for the user data. Here, okay. Let me copy commands. Okay, so here we will give commands to install Apache server on our EC2 instance. And these commands are going to run as a root user. So you can see, first we are doing update, then we are doing installing the Apache server, then we are starting and enabling Apache server, then we are creating HTML file here. So what we are doing here, we are getting IP address of our EC2 instance. Then we are deploying that HTML into this folder. Okay. And these commands are going to run only for the first time when we launch the instance. So let me launch the instance. Number of instance we will launch two. And let's click on the launch instances. So let me change the instance name of one of the instance. Let me give it as a second instance. Now it is getting initialized. So our instance is ready. Now let me go into one of the instance and let's copy public IPv4 address. And let me call that IP address from the browser. And you can see we are getting IP address for the EC2 instance. Let me see IP address for the other instance. So let's go into the instances. Let's go into the second instance, copy IPv4 address, and let's run that IP address in the browser. Okay, so we are getting different IP address for the both the instances. Now let's move on to the setup our load balancer. So let's see, we have option for the load balancer. Click on that. Click on the create load balancer. So here multiple load balancer type we will create application load balancer click on the create and let's give it name as a elb test so we will be creating internet facing load balancer at this type will be ipv4 we will select a default subnet here and let's deploy into the all the available subnet then here we will create the security group for our application load balancer which will accept HTTP traffic from the anywhere. So let's click on the create a new security group. And let's give it a name as ALB security group, that is ALB SG. 
let me copy the same description here and here we will add inbound rule so let's click on the add rule let's allow http traffic here and allow it from the anywhere and let's click on the create security group so security group is created let me go back into the load balancer let's refresh it and we will select here newly created security group okay then we will create here target group so let's click on the create target group option here we will select target type as a instances let's give it name as a test target okay and we will be listening on the port 80 of protocol http then address type will be ipv4 here we will select the default vpc subnet and we will keep health check as a default one and click on the next and now let's include our instances and also you can see option for the port what it says ports for routing traffic to the selected instances so traffic will be route on this port on these instances so click on the include as pending below and click on the create target group okay so our target group is created let me go back into the load balancer let's refresh it and select our target group you can see the summary here then click on the create load balancer so our load balancer is getting provisioning so let me pause the video till it get initialized so our application load balancer initialized completely you can see the status is active here so let's click on the application load balancer and let's copy dns name and let's hit that url from the browser now you can see we are getting ip address from one of the ec2 instance let me refresh it okay we are getting ip address from another instance as well okay so the same ip address that we seen here that we are getting right now if you go into the target group let me click on the target group you can see application load balancer checking the health of both the ec2 instance now let me stop one of the instance and let's see how it behaves so let me go back into the instances and let me stop second instance okay so it is stopping now and let's go into the target group let's wait for some time now you can see health status is unused for the second instance now if you run the alb url again it will still work and it will route the traffic to the active ec2 instance okay so application load balancer is smart enough to get health status of both the instances and based on the health status it is routing the traffic to that particular instance so let me restart that instance again it is starting now in our setup there is one problem okay if you hit the url of one of the ec2 instance it is still work but what we want we want our application load balancer should route the traffic to the ec2 instance user should not able to call our ec2 instance directly so let me open the diagram so as you see in the diagram currently what is happening user is able to access application load balancer and through application load balancer we are able to access ec2 instance but still we can access ec2 instance directly as well by calling its ip address so we we want to prevent this so what we will do we will change the security group our ec2 instance to accept traffic only from the application load balancer so as a summary what we want here the ec2 instance should accept traffic from the application load balancer an application load balancer will accept traffic from the anywhere so let me go back into the aws console now what we will do let's click on the instance and let's find the security option here and this is the security group for the both the instance so let's click on that and click on the edit inbound rule 
so here we are accepting traffic from the anywhere so let's delete this rule and we will add a new rule here here we will select the http traffic which will be allowed from the security group our application load balancer okay so this is the security group of our application load balancer and let's click on the save rule okay now if you hit the url of our one of the ec2 instance it will not work let me refresh it so you can see it is still calling let me copy it into the new tab and you can see it will not work and let me call the same from the application load balancer it is working okay now let me close this tab now what we will see we will see the listener in the application load balancer so now if you go into the listener and rules tab now what is happening here we have already added one default rule here it says for the default the port 80 will route the traffic to the test target group so here we will add multiple rules now so for that what you can do click on the http 80 option and click on the add rule and let's give a name as a demo rule and click on the next so here we want to add the condition so what will be the condition there are multiple types of condition if you want to route the traffic based on the host header path http request method or source ip or there are other options like http header and query stream here we will select the path and we will select path as a slash ec2 so that whenever we hit the url like application load balancer url then slash ec2 it will route the traffic to the different destination so let's click on the confirm and let's click on the next so here it is giving us a different option to routing the traffic you can route the traffic to particular target group then you can route tra traffic to particular url or you can return the fixed response so we will redirect traffic to the url and let's select the full url and let me find some url so let's search ec2 and let's copy this url and paste it here and we want status code to be found and let's click on the next and this is the priority let's give it the priority like 10 you can give any priority between this range and let's click on the next click on the create okay so our demo rule is created so what it says when there is a path pattern is like slash ec2 it will redirect to the amazon ec2 url that we have just copied here okay let's add one more rule uh, we will return a fixed response now so let me add a demo error as a rule name let's click on the next let's add a condition let's select the path and give it as a slash error let's click on the confirm click on the next and here we will select the return fixed response so we have already configured target group for our ec2 instance then we configured the url now we are conferring the fixed response so let's select the response code as a 503 then content type will be text and plain and let's give it response body as this is error okay click on the next let's give it a priority like five and click on the next click on the create okay so these are the rules in our listener based on the path pattern it will forward traffic to the different destination okay now let's test it so let me copy our application load balancer url and our first path was slash ec2 okay you can see it is redirecting to the aws documentation right so this url we are calling from our application load balancer okay now second url was to return the fixed response so let me paste the application load balancer url and path was slash error and you can see we are getting this is error that is that was we set up in the response body so we have successfully set up our application load balancer for the ec2 instances thanks for watching the video